Hi guys, it's Maria here. Welcome back to my channel. This channel is about bags, lifestyle and fashion, but mostly bags. I post videos every Friday. I'm always on the hunt for the perfect bag. If you are like me, please subscribe, hit the notification bell and let's enjoy bags together. Today I'm going to talk about Balenciaga Hourglass bag in a small size. And here we've got nude or beige color. I'm going to talk about pros and cons, give some detailed review, mod shots, how I wear this bag and also what fits little competition as well. When Balenciaga debuted with that bag back in 2019, I wasn't keen at all. To be honest with you, back then I even thought it was like, what an ugly bag. It's been so much fuss about this bag for the past three years that I couldn't resist. I needed to experience that bag for myself. I wanted to see what the hype is all about and why this bag is so popular. And that's why I give it a try. In the beginning, I was very skeptic about this bag and I didn't expect that I would like it so much. But this one is one of those examples when I changed my opinion completely and I actually fell in love with this bag. And to me, it's one of the most comfortable bags ever. Yes, it has its cons and I'm going to talk about them as well, but there are so many pros and now I totally understand why this bag is so popular. The hourglass name comes from the shape, this unusual curved bottom. The bag doesn't have any feet, but it doesn't need it because obviously when you put it, it's land on those ends and the bottom remains untouched. The bag is pretty structured. Mine is made of the 100% cuff leather, kind of like a caviar look. I know also there are plenty of different options in crocodile embossed leather and also in the shiny leather. Mine, as I said, some sort of caviar looking leather. We have a very firm structured top handle. I love this top handle. It's big enough even to wear that on the crook of your arm, which is pretty rare for such a small size of the bag. On the back, we have a pocket. I love pockets. I love those back pockets. And I don't know why, because I don't use them that much. However, just the fact that the back has it, it just excites me. Unfortunately, I don't have an explanation why it happens, but it's true. On the front, it's a big logo, B standing for Balenciaga. It's pretty heavy, I would say, overall for the uh, little symbol. Then it's a magnetic stud closure. Very comfortable, I would say. And what I like, it's not strong enough, but not too flippy. And, you know, I don't need to put too much effort to open it up but then it's strong enough to close it down completely without any extra help. And then, so that's the flap here. Inside we have, na 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 na, my favorite thing, you know that, strap. The strap is adjustable and removable. First of all, those clips are, which are removing the bag, are 360 rotatable. So it means that the bag will always sit in a good position when you wear this crossbody. And despite the fact that the bag is actually quite wide, it is very comfortable to wear that crossbody due to this 360 rotation on the clips. And also, there is so there are so many setting holes, so many adjustable holes that everyone I think, I didn't count it, but I think it's around, I don't know, 20 or so. So many different positions you can put this bag in. So it doesn't matter how tall or small you are, you will find this comfortable position for you to wear that crossbody or on the shoulder, right or left, which one you prefer. I am 5'3", 163 centimeters tall, and for me, adjustable holes are very important. Let's have a look what we have inside there. Inside, it's a lamb leather lining. It makes interior a little bit less carefree if you would expect for this sort of bag. 
Yes, and I already can see some marks on the bag. This bag has been in use around six months, probably coming to the seven months. So around seven months we're talking about, yes, I do not baby my bags, but I'm not being reckless with them. However, I can see already quite a lot of different uh, scratches and the marks inside this lamb uh, leather interior. Also, we have a uh, Balenciaga embossing there in gold, zip pocket in a matching uh, gold hardware, and the rest of it, as I call it, one big haul. I love when a, a small bag of a size like that doesn't have many compartments inside. It means that capacity of the small bag can be used to the max. And I would say the capacity of this bag is pretty impressive for its size. The unique shape of the bag makes it very fashionable. And it means because the shape is so unusual, you can wear the bag as a day wear. It looks perfect with any outfits. However, because of this well-structured form, you can use that as a night bag as well. And this top handle gives a little top handle moment when you can wear the bag in your hands or in the crook of your arm. And I will show you that in my mod shots. All of that makes this bag very versatile and perfect for everyday wear. What I like about those sort of bags that you can take that with you in the morning and then end your night with that going out with your friends to the show or to any sort of performance. It's not the lightest bag I've had in my collection. This one uh, weighs 495 grams, so almost 500 grams, which is, I would say, kind of like a medium weight for this small, tiny bag. And when I fill this into the top, I do fill the weight of the bag with my heavy phone and the sunglasses and stuff like that and my purse. Yes, I do feel that. I'll show you in the capacity that we can fit a lot. However, I tend not to fill this bag to the top just to save the weight. If we talk about in the sense of wear and tear, the corners, perfect. I have no issue with the corners, even despite the fact that it's a nude color and any color transfer, anything like that would be possible here. No, the quality of the leather is perfect. And as I said, I don't baby my bags. However, I don't see any color transfer or anything like that on the bag. And the corners are still in the perfect condition after the seven month wear and tear. And I wore this bag a lot. Believe me, pretty much. It was, it was a moment that I was wearing it for almost 45 days um, straight just that bag. I totally forgot about any of my bags in my collection, that how much I love this bag. The one thing, two, two things in a wear and tear. Yeah. And one of them uh, is in regards to that a little logo here. Balenciaga called this color as the aged gold color, or it looks like a brass. And at the bottom of the B, I can see that the color is start coming off, wearing off and exposing the just a silver metal underneath. I can see that only when I look straight into that and I know what I'm looking for. When you wear that, nobody probably would notice that. But to me, it gives kind of like an unpolished look. Yeah, a little bit of wear and tear there. The second con that I have about the bag and it's same related to this B. This B is quite heavy. I, I won't tell you how much exactly it weighs. It's heavy enough to make a little indentation on the back. I can actually see them. Those are little, they're not the holes, but little curved spots there, just underneath the B. And when you open the bag, you can notice that. And if we continue to talk about wear and tear after this almost seven months, I will already mention some marks inside on the lamb leather interior. I think it's time to move to the capacity review. I'm going to show you what fits in this beautiful bag, Balenciaga hourglass bag in a small size. I believe the capacity of this tiny bag 
is really good and I'm going to show you that. So we will start with opening the bag. Yep. And we're going with the big sunglasses here first. Then big phone. Mine is an iPhone Max Pro, 16 centimeters long. All goes there easily. Card holder. Keys, my keys are quite chunky. Goes in there as well. Then lip balm, ear pods. Here we go. And we can easily close the bag here. No problem at all. Voila. And as you can see, we have a little bit of space on top so we can still fit a few little items there. For example, tiny lipstick or a face mask or a little um, antibacterial gel. And don't forget about little pocket on the bag. It's quite big, so we still can fit quite a lot in there. But quite a lot, I mean, card holder easily goes in there, for example. That's capacity. For me, as a mini bags master, this capacity, I would say, one of the best on the market, believe me. And I think it's just because it's only one zipped pocket inside, which is pretty much small size, kind of like a card holder size, and the rest of this one big haul. No compartments, no dividers, which allows more space inside the bag. Now I'm going to show you some more shots how I wear Balenciaga hourglass bag in a small size. Just to remind you, I'm 5'3", 163 centimeters tall, and I usually wear size 10 UK. We will start, as always, with my favorite way to wear any bags, crossbody. Because of the adjustable holes, the adjustable settings, there are so many of them, you can wear the bag as short and as long as you want. The other thing people were talking online when they are wearing this bag crossbody, they found it's quite uh, uncomfortable to open and close the bag. I disagree, I didn't feel any uncomfort there and I can see that despite the fact that the handle is pretty structured, however, it does soft enough not to hurt you when you're wearing the bag crossbody and you're trying to open it up. So the handle does not hurt you at all. And that's another thing that I really liked about this bag. You can always wear that on the right or the left shoulder. You can remove the strap and wear this bag in your hands with the top handle or on the crook of your arm. I really like this kind of like a glamorous rather than night out look and a beautiful shape and a structure form allows to wear that for the night outs as well. To summarize this video about Balenciaga hourglass bag in a small size, I just want to say that this bag is a perfect example of me changing my opinion. When the bag just came out three years ago, I wasn't keen about this bag at all. I was, what are all fuss about? And then I was looking at that, coming back to that, wondering why it was so popular. And then finally I got it in 2022, tried it and totally fell in love with that. It's one of the most convenient bags in my closet. I love it for this removable and adjustable strap. I counted all this setting holes and it's 30, three zero holes there everyone can find the perfect position and the perfect length of the strap for themselves, no matter how tall or tiny they are. Then it's a rotatable clips. So it means that the bag will sit perfectly across your body or on your shoulder, doesn't matter the way you put it on. This bag is very versatile, not just in the sense of the color and the leather, which goes well with pretty much everything, especially over the spring, summer, kind of early autumn period of time, but also in the sense of that being in a very fashionable, sleek shape, however, in the very structured form, which allows to use this bag as a day casual bag and also for the night outs. 
I love the top handle. I love the little top handle on my tiny small bags. And I love the fact that this top handle is big enough, wide enough to wear this bag on the crook of your arm. I love how spacious this bag is. And because of this one big hole inside, as you already have seen, you can stick quite a lot in there. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up, subscribe, hit notification bell, and I will see you next time. Bye.